Good morning. I'm alive. I'm up early as well. It's not even 7 a.m. yet. But I uh, had a good sleep, needed it. And I'm now looking for a train station to get to the center of Dusseldorf where I will be getting on a bus to Luxembourg. Just doing a little day trip. <clears throat> Um, I didn't really eat yesterday because I felt so horrible. So I definitely need some breakfast. A few snacks for the for the the journey. Oh, let's have a nice time. I'm back. Okay, found the train station. I took two wrong turns, but found it eventually. Um, now I'm just waiting for my train. Which one is it again? Fuck. All right, figured it out. Dusseldorf any train on this side from the looks of it goes to Dusseldorf Central Station so that's what I'm doing it's a beautiful day lovely temperature uh, and I'm feeling all right I'm feeling I'm feeling kind of fresh not 100% but I'm getting there uh, no beers again today I think in Hamburg I had enough beers to last me a bloody lifetime Let's just have a nice time. Luxembourg. The bus I just got was the wildest journey. I thought it was just coming straight here from Dusseldorf. Mate, we went through the Netherlands and Belgium and then got to Luxembourg. So I've just this morning been to four countries. <laughs> ah, it's pretty beautiful here. Flag. Yeah, so I'm just gonna walk around and explore. I'm here for, I think about seven hours, something like that. So I'm gonna see what Luxembourg's all about. I uh, could do with a coffee. Could definitely do with a coffee. So I think that's my first stop. So, welcome to Luxembourg, one of Europe's hidden gems. Its location at the crossroads of Europe means it has been influenced by its neighbors, France, Germany, and Belgium over the centuries. This mix is reflected in everything from the language to the cuisine. Luxembourg is a multilingual country with three official languages, Luxembourgish, French, and German. You'll hear all three spoken here, often interchangeably. Luxembourgish is the national language, while French is used for official government business, and German is common in the media. Luxembourg might be tiny, it's one of the smallest countries in Europe, but it packs a punch when it comes to culture, history and wealth. Luxembourg is a global financial powerhouse. It's one of the richest country in the world by GDP per capita and is home to numerous international banks and financial institutions. This small nation has built a big reputation in the finance world. Oh yeah, that was nice. A little coffee and a soup. Borsch, 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 something like that. She said it was Ukrainian. Um, it was nice, whatever it was. So I've left there now. And now I'm just, I'm in some sort of park. Just having a walk around. Views everywhere are pretty, uh, pretty unreal. Let's see what we find. 
Did you know that Luxembourg is one of the world's last remaining grand duchies? This means it's ruled by a grand duke, making it a unique political entity in Europe. Luxembourg is known for its high quality of life. The country boasts excellent healthcare, education and public services. Plus, public transportation within the country is free for everyone, which is very handy if you're visiting. Despite its financial prowess, Luxembourg is incredibly green. About one third of the country is covered in forest, making it a haven for nature lovers. You'll find beautiful landscapes perfect for hiking, biking and exploring. Welcome to the Grund, one of Luxembourg city's most charming districts. Nestled in the valley of the Alzette River, this neighborhood is a beautiful blend of history, architecture and nature. The Grün feels like a hidden village right in the heart of Luxembourg city, with its cobblestone streets and historic charm. Check out the Église Saint-Jean du Grün, a beautiful 17th century church known for its Baroque architecture. Walking through the Grün, you really get a sense of its rich history. Some of these buildings date back centuries, each with its own story to tell. The Alzette River adds to the Grün's tranquil vibe, offering scenic riverside walks and lush greenery. The Grün is a peaceful escape with a unique blend of Luxembourg's past and present. It's the perfect spot to pause, relax and take a break on your travels, soaking in the serene atmosphere of this charming district. Sadly, my time in Luxembourg has come to an end, but the adventure doesn't stop there. Next, I embark on an incredibly scenic train route through Germany as I make my way back up to Dusseldorf. So after a very scenic train ride from Luxembourg to Koblenz back in Germany, I've got a couple of hours here. Um, there seems to be some cool stuff here, castles and stuff. I just even just it behind me, something's going on. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna have a look around here, probably get some food. Um, and then it's back to Dusseldorf and back to bed. And Turkey just won their first match in the Euros. So the Turkish population of Koblenz are going mad. Horns beeping, flags waving. It's all going on. Food done. Had my first curry burst of the tr trip. It was delicious. Um, so Czechia versus Portugal is just about to kick off. So I'm walking around the old town right now. Check that. It's just nice stuff everywhere. So I'm walking around and there's like bars everywhere. So I'm going to walk around and uh, keep track of the game. They are still going like a Turkish parade around the city. Uh, I've been walking around long enough, I need to sit down. My feet hurt.
So the train is delayed. <clears throat> Do you want to know how much time the train is delayed by? An hour and a half. It's supposed to be here at half eleven. It's going to be here at one. So now I'm not going to get back to Dusseldorf until like half two. There's also a lightning storm here now as well, and it's raining. But I'm undercover, so I'm just going to sit here for however long it takes. <sighs> Wish me luck. My home for the next hour and a half. And here's me after jumping on a train and realizing it was the wrong train. Oh, so fuck my life basically. A train came, a train came and the board said it was going Dusseldorf. I got on, asked someone if it was going Duff Dusseldorf. They said no, but it was too late. The doors were closed and it was moving. So, I've got a few, oh, I've got a few stations closer to Dusseldorf and now I've got off at somewhere called fucking Rijkarmen or something like that and the train I need is here in about 15 minutes and then it's two stops actually to Dusseldorf and it is pissing down with rain I was just sprinting in the rain from platform fucking three to platform fucking one Ugh. That was the longest day ever. That is, that has got to be my biggest day of exploring so far. I went through four countries. I've been out for about 20 hours. That bus this morning feels like so long ago. It was about 20 hours ago. Four countries. A bus. Fuck knows how many trains. Go to bed. See you later.